All right, guys, first and foremost, thank you so much for clicking on today's video. I do truly appreciate it. And if you're new to the channel, welcome. I appreciate you clicking on the video as well. Now, before we jump into what today's video is all about, I wanted to address something really quickly, and that's in regards to my last video that I put out. Because I'm going to be speaking about team building for Ganyu and I know there's going to be people confused and people are going to go down in the comment section talking about I just said Ganyu was a skip. Why are you speaking about team building for her and whatnot? I know there's just going to be some confusion. So I wanted to go ahead and address that really quickly. So I hope you don't mind. So as you can see, this is my channel as a whole. And as you can see, as of late, I've been doing tons and tons of videos for Ganyu. You know, best weapons for Ganyu, Ganyu's best artifacts. Ganyu's going to be amazing, simping for Ganyu, number one simp, 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 all this good stuff. And then all of a sudden I put a why Ganyu is a skip video, which I think was a curveball and people didn't see that one coming, plot twist. So I wanted to address that really quickly because I think there was just some misunderstanding. Now, let me go ahead and quickly state that there were no rude or negative comments. Um, everybody was very cordial. Everybody was very respectful. So thank you guys so much. You guys are awesome. But there was some confusion and some misunderstanding. Now I'm going to go over to my comment section on my YouTube studio. I do apologize. I don't know how to make this dark mode. It's light mode. So I do apologize. But it's just easier to reference the comments here. So in regards to why I came out with that video, why Ganyu is a skip and why I put I'm the number one Ganyu simp is because you have to understand this, guys, really quickly. I still am a massive Ganyu simp, probably still the number one, even though I said she's a skip. Now, why did I do that? Because me being such a massive Ganyu simp, and I'm when she drops, I'm going for dupes. I'm going pretty deep, and I'm going all in. I thought it would make sense, or I thought it would be understood that even me being a massive simp, going deep and going all in for her, me telling you that she's a skip is being 100% unbiased, truthful, and completely honest with you guys based off of what I think and the information that we have. Now, to also keep that in mind, I think some people misunderstood that I thought Ganyu was not going to be good or that she's going to be garbage at C0 or she's not going to be OP or really, really good character. And that could be the furthest from the truth. In actuality, I think she's going to be absolutely fantastic. I mentioned that in the video as well. I think she's going to be really, really good. Even at C0, I just gave my reasons on why you may want to skip if you're not going for dupes, how she's that much better with constellations and things of that nature. And so I think it was just misunderstood where I was coming from. I wanted to let you guys know when you come to this channel and you ask my opinion on a character, I'm going to be 100% unbiased, truthful, and honest with you. No matter how much I really like that character, I'm not going to purposely mislead you um, or to have you spend primo gems where you don't have to or where you can be saving if you're wanting to, you know, get an idea of what you should be doing if you're on the fence about a specific character or characters for that matter. Because like I mentioned in that video as well, there was a lot of people that were on the fence between her or Zhao. And so my best advice is to wait till she drops, test run her out and see if you like her. And if you don't, then that should give you a clear indication to save for Zhao. So I hope this cleared it up a little bit, guys. I'm sorry if it was confusing or misunderstanding, but I think she's absolutely fantastic. I'm still the number one sim for her. And um, I think she's going to be a really good character. Um, I just was giving my truthful, unbiased, and honest opinion on her from somebody that absolutely adores this character and cannot wait for her to drop. And I wasn't trying to hoard all the God news for myself, as uh, as you may not believe me on that one. Um, but anyways, guys, just wanted to clear that up really quickly. I know that kind of took up most of the beginning here, so I do truly apologize. But let's go ahead now and jump straight into what this video is truly all about. I'll see you guys over there. All right, guys. So now talking about team building for Ganyu and what this video is truthfully all about is I wanted to go ahead and structure this in what I'm going to be doing for my account and then what I think that you guys or some different options that you guys can utilize if you don't have certain characters. So if we're taking a look at what I'm going to be doing for my account, if I go over here and then I just go to the character archive really quickly, just so you can have an idea of all the characters or at least most of them that are in the game. 
Um, based off of what I'm going to be doing on my account, I have Venti and I have Zhong Li. I'm going to be basing a lot of my team compositions off of these two characters for CC purposing. So Venti to be able to gather enemies up. And then I'm going to be using Ganyu's um, E ability as well as her ult to be able to keep those characters in one spot. And then be able to go ahead and do the ult on them. Uh, and then be able to do charge shots from there as well and keep them in place. Also Zhongli as uh, being able to petrify them and also keep them in place as well. So very control heavy team. Now as far as my other combinations that I'm looking into, I'm looking into Klee because of that melt. I think it's going to be extremely strong and how much DPS that Klee is going to be able to do. So if you think about CCing the characters with Venti, keeping them together, you can petrify and then you can go ahead into Ganyu and start doing her ult. And then uh, freezing the enemies and then switching over to Klee and just doing a lot of jumpy dumps right there. I think it's going to be an extremely strong combination. Um, I've also been building up my child as well because I want to try applying the wet status and then using Ganyu to be able to cryo freeze them and keep them in place and then just charge shot attacking them as well. So I think that's going to be a really, really good combination. And then, of course, I have my Razor built up already for the Superconduct. I think it's going to be a really good viable option as well. So this is just some team comps that I'm going to be utilizing and uh, trying out on my own team in my own account specifically. But, of course, there are many, many different options that you can take advantage of. I think that's what's so great about Ganyu is her uh, versatility on how she's going to be able to be used because she is cryo it does mesh with a lot of elements really really well obviously hydro obviously with pyro um obviously with uh, electro so she's very versatile in that aspect and i like that about her so um as far as other team combinations of course bennett is going to be a really really good option deluke is going to be a really really good option as well um now for hydro characters mona is going to be a fantastic option to be able to uh do a double taunt in a sense as well as if you have your mona built as like a uh dps oriented one she's going to be hitting hard um you also have uh xing cho as another hydro user that i think is going to be an extremely good viable option uh to look at if you have him built up now other replacements for venti of course we have sucrose and Jean. Really, really good replacements to go ahead and keep enemies together or swirl together um, for that CC combination. You also have Albedo, who's going to be a fantastic battery for um, your uh, Ganyu if you want to go that route and to be able to do more damage. Uh, Xin Yan is going to be a really good option, a pyro option um, that you can utilize if you have her built up. Um, interesting enough, Diona I think is going to be really good as well as Chi Chi. Diona for that supporting capabilities um, as well as being able to go ahead and provide a shield. And you get that double resonance along with Chi Chi as well for that cryo. So that's going to be really, really nice. Or Chong Yoon um, if you have your Chong Yoon built and ready to go. Or Kaya if you have Kaya um, ready to go also. Now Shay Ling is another one that I wanted to speak about because she's going to be an interesting option. I think with her ult it's going to be absolutely fantastic. So that's one that you can utilize. And then Amber is going to be very interesting as well because I think An Amber and Ganyu are going to have a really good synergy in the aspect that they're very similar with their E skill and elemental burst. So if you think about it, you can freeze the enemies, keep them together with the taunt with Ganyu, and then you can switch into Amber and do um, Amber's uh, elemental skill and elemental burst. And I think it's going to be doing some amazing damage if you have your Amber built up properly. Official is another one that I wanted to go ahead and mention as I think she's going to be doing tons and tons of damage. And she's going to be really good to utilize also, especially if you have, have her at, excuse me, if you have her at C6 and built up properly. Um, she's going to be doing some amazing damage as well as Kaching. Kaching is going to be another powerhouse where you're going to get that superconduct and um, be able to take advantage of that also. Um, Beto, yeah, Beto will be good. I just don't think she's going to be the most optimal in this situation. But of course, Beto is a fantastic character, so you can throw her in there as well. Um, and then Noel and Ning Wong, I think you can take advantage of. But in my opinion, just based off of control and, and everything of that nature, I think Zhongli and Albedo might be just a little better options as supports. Um, but you could definitely try Ning Wong and Noel. I mean, obviously, it's going to work. There's not, not going to be anything wrong with that. So you could definitely try that out. But for me personally, like I mentioned, the team composition that I'm going to be going for, um, for myself in particular, is going to be Venti, 
And then here, I'm probably going to have Gan Yu, Child, and Zhongli. I'm going to try that out. And then um, I'm also going to try out Venti. Just imagine this is Gan Yu. And then I'm going to try Kli in this option and Zhongli. So the staples are always going to be Zhongli and Venti. And then uh, these Gan Yu here. And then this one's always going to switch out. So I'm going to try Kli. I'm going to try Child. And I'm also going to try Razor and see how that works out. But I think they're going to do pretty well. <laughs> I think they're going to be do, do pretty well. But the great thing, like I mentioned earlier about Gan Yu, is that she is cryo so she you know fits with a lot of different characters a lot of different team combinations that you can put and a lot of versatility um and ways that you can use her so she's going to be super viable um she's going to be hitting hard as a main dps so um you know if you don't want to have another main dps here um you can go with another support if you wanted to like official who can act as both um or you can go with more of like an albedo a burst uh support dps um, you can go with that or like a Diona uh, to get full support on that one if you want your Ganyu to just be the main DPS and you don't want another one on your team. So those are just some team builds, some team comps, some different options that you can utilize. But she's going to be versatile. She's going to be usable on a lot of different teams. Just kind of play around with it, see what you like the best and see what works for you and your team and what you have on your account. But anyways, guys, I rambled on long enough. I do hope you enjoyed this video today, and um, I'm excited. I can't wait for her to drop. I'm going to get out of here, though. Remember to stand out, be different, have fun, go further beyond in everything that you do. And until next time, my boys, until next time, it's your homie Cody, and I'm out. Bye, guys.